Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy, and if you're new here, welcome. I have been doing keto since March of 2019, and since January of 2019, I have been searching for a perfect keto waffle recipe because my daughter has been doing low carb since January, and she detests an egg taste. And all waffle and pancake recipes that I've came across tasted eggy but not this one, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's super simple, really quick ingredients you probably all have in your home. It will be listed in the description box for you all to check out, and I hope you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can follow my keto journey on Instagram also, and let's get started with some keto waffles. Okay, so here's the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna want eggs, coconut flour, your keto friendly sweetener of choice ours is the pure and i've got the organic stevia i just picked this one up at walmart baking powder cream cheese and vanilla extract again this is just the base recipe and i like to fix it this way so that the kids can you know doctor it up however they like but you can also add in um cinnamon powder you could add in cocoa powder i've even seen where people will add in some of their um like keto collagens but for me this is the base recipe that works best that comes out with the best most amazing waffle taste ever and it's not eggy while i'm preparing all of my ingredients and mixing those together i just go ahead and turn on my waffle iron and get it hot i like to mix everything that i'm putting together inside a bullet or a magic bullet or one of the blenders or a mixer just something so that i don't have to do it by hand so i'm gonna go ahead and add four tablespoons of coconut flour then i'm going to add to that four ounces of softened cream cheese this has been sitting out for a while if you don't have time for that you can always stick it in the microwave in 10 second increments just till it's softened up enough you don't want it melted just softened and then i'm going to add it to the coconut powder next i'm going to add in one tablespoon of my sweetener again i'm using the pure and that's just one tablespoon then I'm gonna be putting in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. My next ingredient is going to be my extract and I am putting in one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And that was just because I completely ran out. You can put up to two tablespoons in here. You could use any um, extract you like. A maple extract would be great. Cake batter would give it a different flavor. But right now, I'm just putting in one tablespoon of vanilla. This recipe does call for two, and I will have the recipe uh, topped out for you guys in the description box if you want to look at that. And the last ingredient that I'm gonna be adding in to my bullet is eggs. You're gonna to wanna to put four eggs in this mixture and then we'll blend it all up. Okay, here's where I'm at at this point. Everything is in the mixer and I'm just going to go and blend it up. Okay, once you have that completely mixed up, you're just gonna to want to take your waffle iron, spray that down on the top and bottom, of course, like you do every time, and then just pour your mixture in. What I like to do is start in the middle and work my way out. Then just go ahead and close it up and let it cook like you normally would any waffle. And here is what your waffle looks like. I've already put some butter on the plate because I always like to put some butter underneath the waffle too. But you can see that it's getting all goldeny brown on this side. 
Okay, as you can tell though, I have a huge waffle maker. So this is a normal size serving plate, dinner plate. So it fills up half the plate, if not more. Um, this is definitely more than a serving. You're gonna wanna figure up your macros for this recipe because everyone's coconut flour and everyone's cream cheese and everything has different macros. So figure out your macros and then what a serving size would be for you. What we usually do is just eat a half of one and then we'll also have eggs and bacon and sausage. I'm gonna add syrup to this and a big old dollop of butter as well. The recipe that I just showed you makes three, again, enormous size waffles. So Bradley's already ate half. Um, I'm gonna eat half, Chris is gonna eat the other half, and Carrie gonna eat a half, and that'll leave us with one entire waffle steel. What I'll do with that is I will just let it cool, and then I will put it in the refrigerator. Later on, when we want something to eat, we'll take it out and put it in the toaster oven, and you can make a sandwich with it if you want. These are great just to store in the refrigerator and use these as bread. So if you want like a breakfast sandwich and you want to cut it in half, you can put eggs and bacon on it and have a crispy sandwich. Or if you wanted to put some chicken on there and have chicken and waffles, you just have so much to do with this. Again, this is, a, this is just the best version that I was able to come up with. It is not eggy at all. It tastes great. I'm glad I was finally able to come up with a waffle recipe that works for us. It was definitely something that was missing from our weekend routine before keto. We would have waffles at least once a month on the weekends and we miss them terribly. But Kerrigan, my oldest, detests eggs. So anything with an eggy texture or an eggy taste, forget it, she won't touch it. Since we're all doing keto, me, Kerrigan, and Chris, this one has been amazing. You have to try it. So I'll have it in the description box below for you guys. Again, figure up your macros and your serving size so that it fits into your keto lifestyle. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. I do have several other keto recipes available on my channel, like the bacon cheeseburger in a bowl. I also recently done keto nachos, and these are absolutely amazing, extremely versatile. Another favorite in the house is the pepperoni chicken pizza bake. And I've already began recording a few others that I am excited to bring you in the future. On my channel, I also include Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree DIYs, and I do keto updates. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe so that you won't miss out on any of those videos. I'll see you next time, and I hope everyone has an amazing week.